I'm Ada. I'm Angela. And I'm Julia. We're grade eights in the STEM program. For our project, we made a sound reactive LED strip. It changes its color depending on the pitch it hears. We made it to enhance a dance party or to create more ambience to a space. You could expand it and use it on a bigger scale, like to control lighting for a show without people having to do it themselves and without as much planning. We utilized a lot of coding in this project, so we used an Arduino, which is a programmable circuit board, and we used an addressable LED strip and a microphone. These LED lights change color and a flash with the pitch of a sound that the microphone detects. We used a special program called the FFT, or Fast Fourier Transform, to make the microphone able to detect only the most dominant sound. We had to do a lot of research about coding and find a lot of little chunks of pre-written code to add together to make our final programs. We also tried to learn about relevant topics along the way. For example, we learned about how LEDs actually work. You send electricity through a tiny microchip, a very small chunk of material that can conduct electricity, that causes it to illuminate. We learned about how acoustics ties into our project, which is the science of all things sound-related, including the FFT program. The fast Fourier transform separates crazy-looking sound waves into a bunch of different normal-looking sound waves, making the sound data much easier to read. Sound waves are pressure patterns in the air of high pressure and low pressure, alternating. They are caused by vibrations of an object. To code this project, we had to download two libraries, which are additional code to program more complicated components or algorithms. One for the FFT and one to code the addressable LED strip. It was relatively simple to put the code in for the fast Fourier transform, as we could just look at the other projects online that used it. But since we did that, we don't exactly know how the code works. We did, however, learn about how to code addressable LEDs. There were two libraries that we tried to use for our project, Fast LED and Adafruit NeoPixel. We tried to use the Fast LED library first, but ran into some issues. It uses up a lot more memory than NeoPixel does, but the main problem we ran into is that we couldn't find as many examples as we did for NeoPixel. So what's next? Well, there are always more interesting patterns to create with these lights, so we might take on a more ambitious pattern. And we will probably try to figure out how to automate the different colors to different sounds and smoothen the transitions. We would also see if we were able to customize the patterns to the speed of the beat. If we did this again, next time we would maybe do more research before jumping right into it. Because we had to stop a couple times during the process just to do more research. Thanks for watching!